Hi, y'all. Have you heard of heart rate variability, HRV? You might have, or if you have not, you might be living out near a rock, I'm not sure, but it is like the newest, trendiest, but also the most relevant biomarker or kind of glimpse into your overall wellness. Um, heart rate variability is, I like to say, the range of motion of your nervous system and how it's able to go up and come back down. There's, it's, heart rate variability is the variation between your heartbeats and, you know, what influences this is your nervous system, is your sympathetics and parasympathetics. So I want you to think of heart rate variability sort of along the lines of the capacity of the parasympathetics to restore function, to bring back to midline. And that kind of makes sense, right? Because if we're in that fight or flight mode or that work mode or that go mode, like working out, performing at the office or at, you know in a career, then we've got to be on it. We've got to be you know, having our sympathetics kind of dominate. So then, when we're not on it, we are not designed to live in that, that, you know, kind of perceived threat state all day, every day. We're designed to come back down. And so that's where health growth or restoration happens is in that parasympathetic, that down-regulated state. So, our nervous system has to be able to adapt. It's got to explore all of its range of motion. You know, if we are in that side of, <laughs> did y'all just hear that big sigh from my dog? He's definitely in a parasympathetic state. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. But um, yeah, we're exploring the range of motion of our nervous system. So we've got to be able to go up and we've got to be able to come back down. So heart rate variability, variability, you know, it's highly individualized, fluctuates greatly. We use it at birth fit. I love this list, this number. And here at birth fit, I like to say we embrace science and intuition. And heart rate variability allows us to embrace science so cool so we recently have partnered with a company called whoop and this is one of the whoop bands it's a uh, performance recovery band and it measures things like heart rate variability measures things like respiration rate um, sleep resting heart rate intensity or strain strain of your workout and it does that by using the rate of perceived the Borges rate of perceived exertion scale, which is pretty damn cool because we use that before even partnering with Whoop. We would use it as like, hey, you're responsible. Look at this scale. Like this workout's got to feel like a blank out of blank, or you know, a 13 out of 20, or a 7 out of 10, and then you know, it's all relative. It's up to you, but. Ultimately, we use science and intuition. We know that each person, you know, they are in their bodies, it's their soul, their body having the experience. And so ultimately, your body is your responsibility, your health is your responsibility. So, you know, learning how to trust our physical body and our nervous system again after living in a society that kind of tells you not to trust your body or your soul needs a little practice and a little guidance so whoop is one really cool way that offers us up some data and that we can use with our clients we can encourage them to use and it really allows us to tap into recovery and wellness and performance and training just on another scale you know hrv one thing we're looking for you know is um kind of the trends of hrv 
and it allows us to embrace fluidity in training as opposed to like these rigid block scheduling. So we're looking at the trends of HRV and let's say HRV is trending down, then something's going on like how's your sleep, how's your nutrition, um, maybe you had a night or two that included some alcohol, maybe there's some additional stressors going on in your life, all those things are going to kind of influence HRV and you're going to see some trends. You know, on the opposite, if HRV is trending up, then this is a time to say, you know, okay, if you're feeling good, your energy is matching what, you know, the HRV trend is showing and you've had a really good night's sleep and your recovery's in the green, then maybe today is a day to go for those high intensity intervals or it's a day to go for, you know, a heavy lift or go for a record, maybe a long or a hard run, anything along those lines. So we pay attention to the trends because that gives us permission to embrace fluidity inside of training. It allows us to use the feminine energy inside a masculine energy dominated kind of realm, you know, that training usually is. Because I love it all. <laughs> I love both masculine and feminine energy and being able to embrace fluidity while also being able to push myself and evolve my physical body. So HRV. I hope um, I've given you some insight into it and I hope you kind of take it and dive into your own HRV and its trends and just think of it as a snapshot and you know each day you get a little more data but it's a kind of snapshot, a glance into your nervous system and how adaptable it is. The range of motion of your nervous system which allows us to embrace science and intuition. All right, bye y'all.